Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to encounter the risen Lord in this Eucharist. Let us humbly call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of, the, of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of our entire treasury, 
who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit said to Philip, Go and join up without chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamp before the shearer is silent, so he opened his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. And the eunuchs saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound His praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet sleep. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me, not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever is this bread will live forever.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is about the interesting story of the encounter between the Ethiopian eunuch and Philip. The eunuch is a big man. He was a court official. He was in charge of the whole treasury of the Ethiopian king, queen. But despite his stature, he admitted that he could not understand the scriptures that he was reading. And so God sent Philip to the eunuch. And as Philip explained to him the scriptures, the eunuch listened attentively. My dear brothers and sisters, this eunuch must be a very humble man because he did not say to Philip, Who are you to teach me? I, held, I hold high position in our society. Instead, he was open to learn. He admitted that he did not understand what he was reading, that he needed to be taught, and so he listened. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus also mentions this. He quotes from the prophet, They shall all be taught by God. And Jesus said, Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. In order to grow in faith, we have to be open. We have to be willing to learn. We have to listen. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to be humble in order to learn. And we need to always learn. Learning does not stop even when we grow old. Learning continues. The only moment that learning ends is when we refuse to learn and to listen and to be taught by others. How many times, my dear brothers and sisters, have we become proud 
that we refuse to listen, that we refuse to learn because we think we already know everything. How many times have we listened to a person and while listening to the person, we, are, we were sizing the person up. Sinasabi natin, eh sino ka ba para magsalita sa akin? Ano ba ang credentials mo? Ano ba ang pinag-aralan mo? Ano ba ang educational background mo? Many times we refuse to listen because we only want to speak. Ayaw nating makinig, ayaw nating matuto, dahil gusto nating Many times we listen because we are not to speak. And many times we listen because we want to criticize. We want to find fault. We want to shame the one speaking. Makikinig para meron akong maibalik sa kanya para meron akong panlaban sa mga sinasabi niya, para hanapan ko ng mali ang kanyang mga sinasabi. Will we learn that way? Kung ganyan ang dahilan natin sa pakikinig, hindi yan para matuto. Hindi tayo matututo. And if we have that attitude, then that is pride. My dear brothers and sisters, God never ceases teaching us. Every day, God teaches us. And so, we have to be open every day to the lessons God is giving us. Every day, God sends us a Philip, maybe in the form of a person, experience or an event in order to teach us. Let us pray that God may give us the humility to be open, to listen, to learn, and to be taught by Him. We turn now in prayer to God the Father, who from the generosity of His heart has sent His Son Jesus the bread of life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God, nourished by the Eucharist, may unite to persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not fail to share our earthly bread with those in need and so become like the self-giving price let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the Lord's promised heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, guide us in our journey 
and help us to walk in the path of your Son, Jesus, who is the bread of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my room, roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish to express our gratitude to you for sending your help for our community pantry here in Intramuros. Maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong na ipinadadala para sa ating mga kapatid na nangangailangan ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Especially to our brothers and sisters, our fellow Filipinos from abroad. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much for your solidarity, for being one with us in this uh, uh, initiative of helping other people. Alam niyo po, as we are celebrating Mass now, there are many people outside on po sa Plaza Roma who are lining up no, very early in the morning just to get some goods for their for themselves and their for their families you know? while we have the luxury of uh, being here you know? of being in our homes marami sa ating mga kapatid ang kailangang pumila para lamang makakain kaya maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong and we continue to make an appeal especially to our neighbors here in Intramuros to the companies and offices here in Intramuros to continue to support our uh, community pantry and your own communities, your own parishes, please also support them because uh, many people, many of our brothers and sisters are really in need. No? Kailangan, kailangan po talaga ng, ng tulong ng marami sa ating mga kapatid sa panahong ito. And so let us be generous. Let us uh, imitate the generosity of God. No? As God has gifted us, let us also share these gifts to others. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God.